If you've recorded some video footage in a format that your computer can't handle, like Amobi for example, just convert them into MP4, I'll show you how to do it. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from OneDish for Uniconverter. In this video we're going to talk about choosing the right format to record on a camera and converting Amobi files to MP4 when needed. First of all, let's talk about recording formats. Most entry-level cameras record in MP4, which is perfect for starting out especially if the codec is H.264. It's a very versatile format that is compatible with everything, so if you have the option to choose MP4, I'd suggest you choose that. However, some cameras that you might start out making films and videos with will record in other kinds of formats, such as MOV. Now, MOV has been developed by Apple to efficiently playback videos on Apple devices like iPhones, Macs, iPads, iPods. <laughs> iPods, they don't really exist anymore. Nonetheless, it's a multimedia container file format that can handle all sorts of video types. Apple devices, of course, have all the essential codecs to deal with any kinds of MOV file, but Windows or Android devices very often need additional software installed. A big, big difference between MOV and MP4 is that MOV with the proper codecs, like Apple ProRes for example, handles raw video streams as well. Raw video streams contain much more data, thus they're also larger in file size. But that's why in film and video creation it's a very favorite format. The difference between the Apple ProRes codec and the H.264 codec is how it handles video data. H.264 is a compressed format that optimizes video quality and size. Whereas ProRes doesn't care about file size, it stuffs the MOV file with information to create room for heavier post-production like color grading and VFX. Anyway, I hope that was a useful piece of information there, but we will focus more on the non-raw MOV files moving forward in this video. The point is that even if your camera records in MOV with the H.264 codec, for example, if you want to use your iPhone to start making films and videos with, like I suggested in this video right up here. But if at the same time you have a Windows PC, editing can be really tricky. So what's the solution? When your MOV file is with the H.264 codec, the fastest and most convenient option can be converting them into MP4 with the same exact attributes. The files will not lose quality, but will be much easier to work with. When it comes to raw MOV files, this option is of course likewise possible, but the video will lose flexibility when it comes to color grading. It is an option nonetheless. Okay, let's convert some files. The converter I prefer using is the Uniconverter by Wondershare. It has never let me down because it always supports the file formats I use it with. And it's also very practical because I can use it to convert many files all together in bulk. If you don't have the Uniconverter yet, download it from videoconverter.wondershare.com. So I'll open the Uniconverter and open up the Converter tool. I import all the MOV files I want to convert into MP4. Then I select the output format for all of these clips right here to be MP4. And then I leave it on same as source. So apart from the new extension being MP4, everything will be the same. And then just convert them. And now you can edit your footage in any kind of editing software on any device. Now note that in order to use the Uniconverter you need to create a free account. And then after the free account you have a free version of the software, but in order to really use the tool you need to have a subscription. There are also online MOV to MP4 converters, but since the video files are usually quite heavy in size, it's not worth the time while files are uploaded, processed and downloaded. Of course, if you have just a short MOV video file you need to convert, online converters like the one on media.io can be a lot of help. Okay guys, that was a quick video for today. I hope you found it helpful. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Have a great one guys.